One of the things that I know a lot of us have in our homes and maybe even multiple versions of them is the traditional first aid kit, the little plastic box with a cute little cross on it that, you know, you're into more often than you want to admit because, you know, things happen, right? So I want to offer you some suggestions for how to upgrade your first aid kit to be more natural. This is actually one of the great things about natural health is that we can incorporate a lot of things directly from nature and have confidence in using them when we have these kind of emergencies, boo-boos, whatever, right? So I wanna give you some ideas of what you can look for in a natural um, health first aid kit because they're, they're super easy and they're a lot of fun to put together because you can actually customize them to fit your particular family's needs and some common things that you um, have experienced you can put in there that maybe don't come in the traditional kit. So some things that I use. Um, very often you will find essential oils, you're going to find some herbs, some tinctures, and some salves in my first aid kit. This is in addition to the traditional band-aids, which we like to buy the little superhero print ones um, to make it at least fun because you're already kind of hurting, so why not have a cute band-aid? Um, I've got the gauze. Um, I have a natural form of first aid ointment and some, you know, strips and things like that to, to help. Okay. So specifically what I put in there for essential oils, this is key. I use lavender because it's really good for burns, including sunburns. It's good for bug bites. Um, I use tea tree oil because that's super good as a disinfectant. Um, it's, you know, antiseptic. It cleans really well. And it's really good to use on, you know, cleaning out wounds and stuff like that. Now, whenever I use my essential oils, I also put in there some fractionated coconut oil, a little bottle of it, because I also like to dilute them. I think it helps with absorption in the skin and it creates better benefits overall when I'm using them specifically for first aid. Now, some other oils you're going to find in my kit include um, clove. So clove is a great one. You can use it in herbal or essential oil format, but this is great for any kind of tooth, um, you know, pain, loose teeth, you know, the kid loses a tooth somewhere when you're traveling and, um, you know, it kind of helps that throb. Also, if you've got any kind of um, um, bacteria or virus concerns, clove is really good for cleaning those areas. Um, and certainly it's really good too to use before you're helping someone who's having a first aid issue. It's really great just to use on your hands. So I would say those are my oils as far as that goes. Now let's talk about some herbs because I do have a lot of herbs. I will use them in powder and liquid form. I'll use infusions primarily because they're easy to use. So what I'm looking for in my herbs is I do have ginger, which obviously ginger is really great for digestion. You can pre-make ginger capsules and store them in your first aid kit. So they're super tiny. They're easy to plug in and use. Or you can have a liquid ginger, which is really great for skin application or in internal use. So either one of those I highly recommend for first aid digestive support um, situation. Cayenne pepper. Now, again, same thing. You can put these in capsules so they're easy to use. But the deal with cayenne pepper is it's also good for wounds. Now, it's, it's great for cleaning those out. Um, it's also good for the heart. So if, any, if you're in fear of you know, um, heart attacks, so those type of things, you're waiting on the ambulance, cayenne pepper is your best friend in those situations. Um, it actually helps with blood flow, um, particularly with any kind of heart needs. So you are going to find cayenne pepper in my first aid kit all the time, all of them. Now, comfrey is another one. This is great for poultices. You can use this for um, any kind of healing. Um, you can use it for fractures while you're getting to the doctor, your cast put on. It's really comforting. It helps support the healing process. So for herbs, I, I tend to like these um, primarily, and you're going to find them in all forms in my, in my box. Now, some other supplies, again, I mentioned bandages and, and those kind of things, but I also like to have um, rubbing alcohol. Um, I like to have a natural ointment for, um, you know, boo-boos and scratches and stuff like that. doTERRA's got a really good one I like called Correct X. Um, I like to have some natural lozenges. Um, I like the doTERRA On Guard ones. Um, 
And I also have a breathe version that is really good. I stick a few of those in the first aid kit. This is going to sound weird, but I also like sea salt in my first aid kit because you can mix that with warm water and you instantly got something that you can help clean wounds with. Um, again, it helps with any kind of oral needs and um, burns. Okay, so sea salt, really inexpensive things, right? And then, um, you know, I like to have hydrogen peroxide peroxide and rubbing alcohol. I like them both because you never know which one you're going to need in the situation. And it's just, why not have a bottle of both in there? And again, I use the little bottles um, so I can easily refill them and I'll have two or three first aid kits. Like we'll keep them in the vehicles, we'll keep them in the house, you know, wherever we're going to be. Now, if you have questions, you're looking for other information about first aid kits, I'm happy to help you, but I highly recommend having a natural first aid kit. I think they're versatile. They're definitely a lot easier to use and you don't have to worry about, you know, not knowing what to do in an emergency. So reach out to me if you have questions and I hope to see you in the Dragon's Bit Apothecary Forum where I'm offering even more insight about first aid specifically this month and how to build some of these tinctures and lotions to put inside your first aid kit. You can only get those recipes though through my forum uh, at dragonspitapothecary.com.